Hey, how are you doing? This is Chris Leland with Scientific Converter Recycling. So I just we threw together a quick video for three reasons. One, we have a public service announcement that we want to get out to the people in New Jersey, Maryland, Virginia, and Eastern PA about a code buyer and his wife that are running around. They're ripping people off. They're an older couple. They're ripping people off for 300 to 1,400%. So uh, we want to warn you about that. We're going to cover that. We're going to share with you the comparison of what their uh, offer was. Uh, they had three different offers from this guy, it went up higher, uh, versus what they made um, uh, doing it by processing. Um, we're also gonna do a comparison of what uh, Junkyard made, uh, and they got ripped off for about $114,000. And the last thing we're gonna cover is we're gonna give you an invitation. If you can stay at the end of the video, we have an invitation and offer to have you come out to the farm see how we do the processing, bring the family in the evening or on the weekend, we'll put you up in a hotel and we'll actually take you out for a carriage ride, show you some of the local uh, interests that we have here. We've got ponies and horses here on the farm and uh, make it a, a fun business trip for you. So look forward to talking to you and seeing you soon. Good afternoon. Hey, welcome to Scientific Converter Recycling. So we advertise and promote and try to educate people that you can make anywhere from 10 to 30% or more uh, having your converters processed versus selling by code. The reality is it's typically a minimum of 20% and it goes up to 50% and goes up much higher. There's a lot of different variables. Uh, obviously the biggest variable is how much you know about the code buying method, how much time you invest in looking for the codes, understanding all the different codes, the shared codes among the manufacturers, whether they're full, half full, three quarters full, um, so there's a lot of different variables that go into this, but I want to tell you a, a quick story that uh, there's three things that happened uh, to us this past week. The first one is a guy from Maryland. Uh, he'd been talking to me for about three months. About once a month he'd call me up. We talked a little bit about the process, how it works, what he could expect. Uh, I felt like he was getting ripped off, but he didn't have a, a code program. We gave him a program uh, to use that we recommended to him. Anyhow, he had 50 converters, I got a cheat board here for remember the different things that have happened to this guy. So his code buyer lives in uh, central PA. He's an older guy in his 70s. He travels around with his wife in the Denali and uh, they buy converters by the code. And this guy's been dealing with him for over 10 years. He's in Maryland, uh, he owns a towing company. So uh, his code buyer came out about two weeks ago he looked at uh, what this guy had to, to sell. He said, look, I'll give you $1,200 for everything. He said, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna take this out to a guy in Lancaster that processes him. I've been talking to this guy. I'm gonna go out to him next week. I'm not gonna do it. The guy stomps his foot. I'm not gonna use the guy's, either of these guys' real name. Uh, we'll, we'll say that the tow truck guy will call him Steven. He stomps his foot. He says, Steven, he says, damn it. He says, you're gonna get screwed over by these guys on the internet. You don't know who you're dealing with. You know, don't go out to Lancaster. He says, he, he says to the guy, well, I'm going to call Bonnie and Clyde. They're, they're like two crooks uh, traveling around. Uh, he says, uh, no, I'm going to go out there. He says, uh, I want to see what this is all about. So they have some words. He leaves. Week later, uh, the guy I'm going to call Clyde, the old code buyer, he calls him up. He says, Stephen, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm only working on a 10% profit margin. Now, 10% on $1,200 is only uh, $120, right? He said, I'm going to offer you, the second offer was $2,600. He says, I'm going to have to hold them until the price comes back. He says, but I'm going to do that for you because I don't want to see you get screwed over. And uh, Stephen says, again, it's not his real name. Stephen says, Clyde, I'm not going to do that. I actually got an appointment on Tuesday. I'm going out there Tuesday morning to see the guy, meet the guy, see how this all works. And I'm going to give processing a try. So um, he says to him, he says, uh, uh, look, he says, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. He says, instead of giving you $2,600, he says, uh, or, no, I'm, I'm sorry, I screwed up. So the first offer was $1,200. Called him up the second time and said, hey, I'll give you $2,600 and I got to hold him. He says, no, I'm still going to go out to Lancaster. The night before, which was Monday night, which was actually last Monday night, today is the, the 21st, Sunday the 21st, he called him up. He says, hey, he says, I'm going to go up to $3,100. $3,100 is what I'm going to offer you. He says, because uh, I don't want to see you get screwed over by somebody out in Lancaster. You don't know who you're dealing with. They're going to take your converters and you're going to get screwed. He says, 
Uh, Clyde, he says, I'm already out here in the hotel. I'm 15 minutes from the guy's house. He said, I'm meeting him tomorrow morning at 8. So I'm going to go there and see what this is all about. So uh, the customer, I'm going to call him Steven again. He shows up at 8 o'clock. And as he starts telling me this story, um, I said to him, I said, hey, I said, <clears throat> I pulled up a phone number. It was angry guy who hung up on me. I took my cell phone out. I looked it up. I handed it to him. And I said, do you recognize this number? He says, yeah. He said that. I'm going to call the guy Clyde. He said, that's Clyde's number, my code buyer. I said, I got a phone call from an angry guy, never gave me his name, hung up on me. And after I asked, he asked me questions, very, very pissed off. Uh, I answered all of his questions. He said, I can't pay out that kind of money. That's impossible. He's been in the business forever. And basically, I'm full of shit. That's what he said. And he hung up on me. And I thought, well, I'm going to find out who this guy is sooner or later. So I programmed him in as angry guy who hung up on me. So I handed him the phone. I said, is that, yeah, that's my code buyer. I said, I got a call from that guy. So um, anyhow, the guy works in the Maryland, Virginia, Pennsylvania area. Um, he ended up, we ended up doing the essay for him. We, we processed it and ran the ICP, which you see working back here. So I think I've had other videos that show you how this works. Right now, we're running batches and the probe goes into the material, pulls it up into the, um, in the nebulizer, and then it reads how many parts per billion of platinum, palladium, and rhodium in there. So we did the work for his material. The value came back, our value on his material came back at $5,812.59 after smelting costs and $100 lab fee, right? We paid him out 85% minus $100 lab fee. So, so we'll call him Steven, got paid out $4,840.70. Now you gotta remember, the first offer that he got from Clyde, right? Clyde the crook was $1,200. The second offer that he got from Clyde, Bonnie and Clyde the crooks was $2,600. The third offer was $3,100. Now from the first offer, since he threatened to use us, from $1,200 to $4,840, that's a difference of $3,640.70. Three times $1,200 is $3,600. That's 300% more, 300% more that he got paid processing versus his code buyer that he's been using for 10 years. So. Um, and there's other stories that I'm going to be telling you about that are even worse than that, believe it or not. So uh, I'll just give you a little tip on that one. If anybody tells you that that uh, loose material is only worth $3 a pound because it's got diesel uh, catalyst mixed in it or some diesel filter mixed in it, that's also a lie. And uh, uh, I'll tell you that in a separate story. So, um, but yeah, so the same guy here, we're, Bonnie and Clyde, right? This friends of uh, Stephen, I'm going to call him Stephen, he paid a friend of his that owns a junkyard down in Maryland, an older guy, uh, $1,000, uh, I'm sorry, $8,000 for a 1,000 converters. Now, to give you an idea, I told him over the phone, I'll do the math real quick here, to give you an idea of, of the minimum on the low end, even in today's market, if he was down around $57 a pound, that's that's low end material, regular gas cows, so that'd be low end. Higher end right now is 98, 99, you know, or higher, but we use $57 a pound. So you got a thousand converters, you're going to have two pounds of catalyst on average. So you got 2,000 pounds times $57 a pound payout, right? So that's $114,000. So this guy should have gotten a minimum of $114,000. Now this older gentleman, I don't know this for a fact, but I can almost guarantee you he's got a flip phone. He doesn't do emails and he doesn't have any apps, have any idea what the material's worth. And instead of getting $114,000 payout minimum, he got $8,000. So minus $8,000, right? That's $106,000 is what he got screwed out of, right? And that's what he should have got paid. So we're gonna divide that by $8,000. Well, actually, we divide the hundred and fourteen. We'll divide the hundred and six thousand. Divided by one hundred and fourteen thousand. One hundred and fourteen. That's fourteen hundred and twenty-five percent less. Fourteen hundred 
and 25% less that he got paid by, I, I, we're not even gonna call it by code because the guy didn't even look it up by code. He just flat out screwed him and, and didn't even uh, use the code method at all or attempt to use it. So, but he lost, he made 1,425% less uh, than he would have uh, if he had processed. So when we tell you 10 to 30% or more, that's really on the low side uh, for the 10% I put in there just for argument's sake, because you got buyers like like uh, Bonnie and Clyde here who tell people they're working on 10%, but they're actually working on a 300% profit or more margin or more. So anyhow, uh, just wanted to get this out to you. We have a, an invitation we're going to be sending out. We're going to be promoting this heavily, this video heavily in Maryland, Virginia, and Pennsylvania. He possibly works in New Jersey. Uh, to help save his customers from dealing with them. So if you're dealing with an older guy, drives around in a Denali with his wife, stomps his foot when he gets excited, he's like in his 70s, um, this is the guy that, that uh, this experience happened to with these two customers, the guy with the junkyard and the guy with the, the towing company. So, but in the future, uh, coming out shortly, we're gonna have invitations to bring you out here to the farm. If you and your family wanna come out, make an appointment to come out on the weekend or the weekday, uh, we're gonna, uh, we have ponies here on the farm. We got a horse and carriage. We'll take you for a carriage ride. You get to drive the horses. We'll also have pony rides for the kids. And um, if you do bring 15 converters or more, after you see the process and you wanna have us process them, it's, we process Monday through Friday. We uh, do the lab work on Saturday, sometimes Sunday like we're doing today. And then we hedge lock in your metal price on Monday and then we uh, pay out on Tuesday. So we can tell you more about that. But if you bring us a batch of converters to, and drop them off the day that you come out, then we'll also put you up for one night, you and your family at a uh, local bed and breakfast on an Amish farm. So not only are you gonna make uh, 20 to 30% or more, maybe 300% more, maybe 1,425% more. And again, I'm sure that this is the rare exception. I hope it's the rare exception because for this kind of thing here, you should go to jail for that, in my opinion. I mean, that, that's like jail time, you know, to, to take money from a hardworking man like that. Uh, you're not stealing from the bank, you know, that's insured. You're stealing from a guy that's working hard for his money, crawling underneath there, cutting off his converters. And for that junkyard guy, that's probably a year or maybe even two years worth of wages for that guy. For this guy that's been selling to him for the uh, last 10 years, losing $3,600, he's going on a cruise next month uh, with that money. And that's that's just extra money on top of what that he would have made. So um, we want to help you get the most money for your material. Um, we want to, we have uh, apps that we can give you to help you see what they're actually worth before you even get them processed. We can hook you up with those, they're not our apps, but we'd love to help you out. Look forward to meeting you. Uh, bring your family out to Lancaster County, uh, mini vacation over the weekend, and we'll put you up in a Amish bed and breakfast and uh, you get to drive a carriage. So look forward to seeing you soon.